And welcome back. Well, now we're going to take a look at one of the films that uh, has opened on Boxing Day. It is a new film from uh, director James Hawes, and it's called One Life. And uh, this is the biographical tale of Nicholas Winton, who in this film in the 80s is played by Anthony Hopkins. And uh, going back when it's set in the 1930s and 1940s, he's played by Johnny Flynn. Now... For people out there who don't know much about Nicholas Winton, Nicholas Winton kind of rose to popularity in the 80s when a television show exposed the fact that he was a man partially responsible for saving the lives for of a number of Jewish children um, at the start of World War II. He basically travelled to Europe, um, went into some of the camps where there were refugees, and then worked tirelessly with a group of people, including his mother, who's played here by Helena Bonham Carter, um, in making sure that those children could be brought to Britain and to go to good, kind, and caring families. Because even though they didn't admit it at the time, uh, Nicholas pretty much realized that even though he was promising that they probably would, those kids would never be able to return back to their families with what Hitler was doing in Europe. So this film tells the story of the moment that he rose to popularity in the 80s um, when cleaning up his house led to his story being exposed to the masses. And it also looks at the actual time when him and his team are working in the 1930s and 1940s to try and bring these children to London. Now, Lee, I know you're a big fan of Helena Bottom Carter, like I am, and you also love Anthony Hopkins's work. So what did you think of One Life? I think this film was beautifully portrayed. I think that um, it really showed how humble a man Nicholas Winton was in real life as well. And I love the way that the film went back to the... 1930s and 40s but also then um, fast forwards to the 1980s and you get a sense of what it was like for Nicholas Winton to actually put forward a whole program and save these children. You see the challenges with government in a crisis, you see the bureaucracy, you see the difference between the rich and the poor in that time. Um, yeah, you really feel for the children and the families that were going through this hell, really. And um, it was just done in such a beautiful way that you just wanted his, you know, you wanted Nicholas Winton to um, succeed in everything that he was doing. But you could see how hard it was to achieve these things as well. Um, you know, there are moments too where you see that he was faced with um, people dying or people being captured and what a weight that was for him to hold over many, many years because, of course, he wanted to save everyone, but you couldn't. You couldn't save everyone, but he saved so many and he had a whole team behind him and so the actors and actresses that were chosen for these roles were incredible and they did a powerful job in this film. Um, yes, Helena Bonham Carter, she played Babette Winton, which was the mother. Yeah. And her performance was amazing. I mean, you could see the challenges as a mother trying to help her son succeed um, with this evacuation, this um, saving of children, but also... Um, you could see how much love she had for her son in, in those times too. And she just wanted to help him, but she wanted, she had a genuine love and care and compassion for the children that needed to be saved. And it also wasn't easy for her either because she was of German descent. And if you know the history books, it wouldn't have been an easy time for her living in London at that time um, either. Uh uh, like it, it's mentioned very early on in the film that Winton is not actually um, her original surname. Like she had another surname which she changed um, due to like the war because she didn't want people to know about her German heritage. So um, 
yeah, but I love that scene where she sits down with the government department member and she's like, right, so this is what you say and this is what I say. And it's just one of those classic Helena Bonham Carter performances when she does that. Yeah, she seemed to have some pull with them. Yeah. Um, and she, yeah, she acts it out beautifully. Um, also, um, later in life, in the 1980s, you see... Um, <laughs> Mrs. Winton, <laughs> and that is played by Lena Olin, and her character, well, in real life, it's it's great Winton. And I was wondering for the whole movie who this actress was because I thought she, um, she played an incredible performance of a supportive wife who understood um, what her husband had been through she was proud of him, but she could also see the weight on his shoulders um, from everything he carried throughout those years in the 1930s and 40s. Um, while he saved people and was proud of that and should be proud of that, he was so humble and he still felt the weight of not saving certain people and having lost people that he wanted to save. And so she seemed to have this beautiful understanding of um, those two things that her husband faced. Almost a PTSD, I would say it was PTSD, um, and also being proud of who he'd saved. Um, and so I, I figured out later that this actress was an actress I've seen over and over in the series of Alias. Um, and that she played such a different role that it took me a long time to figure out who it was. But I thought she played, yeah, that role beautifully as well. Certainly this is a movie um, to watch. Of course, it's based on a true story. So those emotions are, are raw and real. When you, um, when you see what's happened to people, you have those thoughts of how can people be that cruel, even if, you know, a leader is telling you to do something and demanding for you to do something. You have those thoughts of, would I do it? Would I rather die than be that cruel to people? Or would I carry that out? I think I would rather die. I think I would not carry out, um, you know, being told I had to do something cruel to someone else. I think I'd want to help those people and risk my life. Um, so you have all those emotions going through your mind and then you have that pride of here's a man who's standing up to everything and not taking no for an answer. He can see the impossible in front of him yet makes it pos makes things possible. Um, yes, yeah, so the scenes on the trains were really touching. I really loved the scenes on the trains. I loved seeing how many foster parents came forward. I mean, that's still an issue today. We don't have enough foster parents in the system now. Um, but to put, you know, for so many people all at once to say, I will take in children and give them a happy home was just unbelievable. And they're also taking in children. And it's not something that was mentioned in the film, but a lot of those children wouldn't have been able to speak English. They were coming from Poland and countries like that. So they would have spoken Polish and, and maybe German for some of them because um, some of them were... German Jews that had already fled Germany. Um, so a lot of them wouldn't have spoken English. They would also have been traumatised. Yep. They had been pulled away from their families. Some might understand that it's for safety. Others would have probably resented being taken from their families. Um, and yet thousands of people put up their hands to look after children. Um, and just wonderful um, so yeah, I recommend this film fully. Um, I love the way it was filmed. I loved the acting and I'm not a crier in films generally, but I did have tears in my eyes um, when we saw some of the survivors in this film. Oh, I don't want to go too far into that because I think that's a lovely touch to the film and just would like people to experience that themselves without going too much into it. Yeah, for for me, what I loved about this movie was that um, 
it also looked at Winton's team. Um, so there was Esther Ratson, played by Samantha Spiro, uh, Betty Maxwell, played by Martha Keller, and Trevor, played by Alex Sharp as well. And I, I felt that at times that a lot of the suspense came around those three because they were there on the front line um, in Europe as Hitler's troops were advancing. And I thought the director and the screenwriters did that really well, that, yes, this was the story... The story got exposed because of Nicholas Winton's um, uh, story being made public, but those three were also heroes and like I said a lot of the suspense goes around them I think one of the things I learned from this film is though that it's not something that's often talked about that other countries realized what Hitler was going to do before he did it there's a map in this film um that that Esther has and it's basically a map that's been drawn up of the countries that they know that Hitler is going to try and take, but n no one's doing anything about it. Like, the, the general public know that this deal that he's made about um, going into other countries um, and just taking a small section is complete bull. Like, that he's going to try and take the entire country, um, but, but no one's doing anything about it. And you kind of wonder, if other countries had stepped in earlier... Um, and gone after his troops as they were invading, would they have been able to stop the Holocaust and the majority of World War II actually happening? Um, so there's little things like that in there as well. Um, the guy I feel sorry for in this film um, is actor Johnny Flynn, because everyone's going to be talking about the remarkable performance of Anthony Hopkins playing Nicholas Winton, but a lot of people are going to forget that Johnny Flynn plays the young... Nicholas Winton um, in this and that that's a pretty hard thing for an actor to do to share a role with um, Anthony Hopkins who I think most people would agree looks like he's going to win an Oscar every time he makes a movie except for Transformers um, but uh, yeah it's uh, I've got to pay credit to Johnny Flynn because I reckon a lot of people out there are going to forget that he even played that role so um, but look well written brilliantly acted Helena Bottom Carter and Anthony Hopkins are just absolutely sensational um in this as is um Samantha Spiro um and I think Alex Sharp does a great job too but uh yeah a remarkable um film that will tell the story that a lot of people out there won't know I think everybody knows the story of Oscar Schindler and the people that he rescued but not a lot of people would know about um Nicholas Winton and his team so um yeah, really well done on that front. Lee, what are you going to give this one out of five and why? I'm going to give it four and a half out of five. I think that the, yeah, it was written beautifully, as you said, acted beautifully, directed, filmed beautifully. So, you know, even the cinematography, I just enjoyed every aspect of this film. Um, and it's not always a fast-paced film. It's quite a slow-moving film. Um, but I think telling a true story like this, it deserved to be told. It really showed um, how humble a man um, Nicholas Winton was. And I really enjoyed how, yeah, how it was portrayed and how it taught me about the past because I actually didn't know this story. So four out of five from me. Yeah, I'm going to give it four out of five. I I really, really enjoyed this film. I thought it was well written, brilliantly um, acted. I don't know whether or not Anthony Hopkins' name might pop up in the Oscar. I, I think I'm definitely thinking the BAFTAs, most likely, being the British um, awards. But uh, yeah, once again, another masterclass of acting from Anthony Hopkins, who plays this role so well. So four and a half from Lee. Four from me. Um, check your local cinema guide. Um, it's unfortunately not showing in some of the bigger cinemas. So check your local cinema guide to see where One Life is showing near you. It came out on Boxing Day. <laughs>